So is this happening? Removal van's booked for 24. Right. <laughs> I said before Christmas. I know, I'm sorry, but I need to train the staff up before we open. I don't want to move to London. Our new flat is tiny and the pollution levels are through the roof. Alt it up. So why London? I know it's not ideal. You're being selfish. Tell her she's been selfish. Hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to your mum like that, all right? I want to stay here. Can I stay with you and Leanne? Please, Dad. <sighs> Sam, we've been through this. You're coming to London with me and we're going to have the best time. Museums every weekend, remember? <sighs> we better get going. No. Yes. You can come back tomorrow and spend the whole day with Nick if he's free. Yeah, yeah, of course. Great, I'll drop him round. I'll say bye, Sam. Are you okay? Are you, you hurt anywhere? No. I got out before he could turn on me. He rolled up my mum, though. Is she okay? Do we need to call an ambulance? No. Last time I did, she got really angry at me. She said she didn't want anyone else to find out. Even so? Please, don't. Uh, hang on a sec. Billy, hi. Yeah, I'm really sorry about cancelling. Did Todd tell you? Yeah, I'm at the hospital now. Um, no, I, I think he's a bit more shaken up than anything. But listen, um, I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Sorry for calling. I don't want to get you in trouble again. It's just, I didn't know what to do, and I was dead scared. And Look, the main thing is you're safe. Was he drunk? Yeah, for a change. Look, it sounds like he's getting worse. I know you're not keen, but I really think it's time we report this to the police or social services. No, I don't want anyone else to find out. And I definitely don't want to be talking to any feds. I know what you mean. I mean, I used to feel the same way, but they can be dead nice when they want to be. And I'll stay with you the whole time, if you want. Maybe. Can we just hang out for a bit first, though? I could get some chicken. If not, I'm a tea. <sighs> nah, me neither. OK, chicken it is. And then police station. Sure. Good lad. Aya. Aya. I'm not going to have a go at you again, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think you would. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, look, I'm sorry for spiking your deal. I, I didn't have any idea that you was already at that gym. It's fine, you were right. I should have gone back there sooner. My fault, not yours. Yeah, well, it still doesn't stop me from feeling terrible. What are you going to do with all that stock? Keep trying to flog it, I suppose. And you know, when I was a kid, my mum used to take me and our pa around the pub car parks. She used to sell cheap booze and fags out the back of a banged-up Vectra. Oh, that sounds fun. It was. We'd get scampy fries and we'd get a black currant and soda if she were doing all right. But I don't really want to be taking my kids around. You know, I was sell unisexual grooming products. Oh, I think it's just unisex. Oh. Yeah, uh, but no, I don't think babies will appeal to your key demographic. I don't know what that means. How about I just buy it off you? Eh? Yeah, the stock that you've got left, that cost price, you don't have to worry about getting rid of it. No. I make some money off this if we're going to have any kind of Christmas. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, I wanted to treat Tiana all the time, <laughs> Christmas or not. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. She wants the key thrown away carrying on like that. Yeah, um, well, anyway, um, good luck, and if you change your mind, let me know. I won't. Kurt's minding the quads, so I'm going to stop being miserable, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to sell some pads gara. Hi, what can I get you? Hi, um, I'll have a pint, please. You must be Jenny's stepdaughter. 
Daisy. Hi, I'm, I'm Billy. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> She's got you earning your keep already, has she? <laughs> I'm just covering while they spend some time together. They're getting in as many date nights as possible before Johnny's sentencing. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. How is Johnny? Johnny? <laughs> well, it's Jenny I feel sorry for. I'm not sure why she's standing by him. What kind of person does something so terrible and just keeps it to themselves all these years? A human being who made a terrible mistake. I'll have one of them in all time. Thanks. I wasn't lying. For once. <laughs> Heard from Paul? Yeah, I, I, I spoke to him a bit ago. I just said I'll, I'll see him when I see him. So now you're drowning your sorrows. Alone. Well, hardly. No, so is her uh, mates, and I cleared my schedule to see Paul, so I thought I might as well leave the flat. Shame Paul had to drop everything. Yeah, no, no. Proud of him, putting his mate first. Yeah, he's, um, he's come a long way since we first met. He always brought the best out in people. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Definitely had my work cut out where you were concerned. <laughs> Good. It's you. I thought it were Nick with that new son of his. Hey, there's been drama while he's been out. All right. Yeah. It gives me the creeps a bit, though, that kid. He's too confident for a nine-year-old. Hey, he reminds me of that kid from Jerry Maguire, you know, the one. Um, the human head weighs eight pounds. You know that one? Yeah. Not a nice thing to say out loud? Uh, no, it's not that. You're right, he is a little brat. Well, what's wrong, then? Saw Ray before. It's got CCTV footage of you and the Barlow kid in the bistro. And that's not good? No, that's not good because he could go to the police with it. I mean, you broke in. Right, yeah, no, that sounds really bad. I mean, it's fine. You probably won't get sent down for it, but still, we can't take a risk. What, like jail? Don't worry, I sorted it. How? He agreed to not show the police if I promised to not make a fuss about the development. Oh, brilliant, thanks. Right, should I start tea? Then Gail's taking the kids out. Yeah, sure. Well, where are you going? I was just gonna go upstairs for a bit, that's all. Just clear my head, you know. Everything sorted? Well, kind of. <laughs> Sorry you got dragged into it. Well, I'm just glad he's safe. He's a handful, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. How'd you get on with uh, another stuff? Um, come face it. There's no rush. Uh, should we get a takeaway? I uh, just, I can nip to speed dial. Yeah, OK. Uh, usual? Yeah. OK. Back in a bit. OK. Hi, Sam. Uh, Nick's just popped out. Bit of Jake staying over, is that all right? Is he needs a break and Liam begged for a sleepover, so... Yeah, that's fine. So Dad'd make pizzas if they behaved, but I've not heard from him for about an hour, so... Either getting on or one of them's murdered the other. All right? Do you know anything about a watch that Bernie Winter found in the woods that the police are currently digging up? Not heard about it, no. You liar. What? I've just been talking to Bernie. She said you were dying to get your hands on it. I don't know what you think's going on here. Bernie said that the watch is engraved. It belonged to someone called Rick. Is it Rick Nealon's watch? Ah, right, no, hang on, hang on. 
There was a watch, yeah. I, I thought it might be Rick's, I remember. So I, I tried to buy it off her to find out, but I think she'd already sold it or something. So why didn't you tell me that when I've just asked you? Because she threw me when you started speaking about the woods. I thought she'd found it on the street. OK. So it's just a complete coincidence, then, is it, that Rick's watch has been found in the woods where the police are searching with dogs and men in white boiler suits? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What is it you're really asking me, babe? Is Rick dead? I don't know. If he is, it's got nothing to do with me. Okay. 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 Well, they've run out of lamb samosas, so I got veg. Tell me that Sam was asking to stay with us. How'd you know that? Because I've just had him on the phone in tears. I, uh. I didn't want to worry you. I was going to tell you before they came round tomorrow, but. I mean, I only found out they were moving this afternoon. Oh, sorry. That must have been hard. Yeah. I wish you'd told me then. I wouldn't have been on the back foot when he called. But why does he think they can stay with us anyway? I don't know. I mean, Natasha was pretty firm. What about you? Did you tell him no? No, exactly. Nick, kids need firm answers. You're going to have to phone him back and tell him that he has to go with his mum. Oh! What's happened? Oh, uh, sorry, I burnt myself. You are still under cold tap. Yes. You know, you should be a bit more careful if you're using the oven. Yes, well, I was trying to make tea, wasn't I? Wow, oh, what is it? Soup. What flavour? Tomato. Just to say sorry. What for? <sighs> for upsetting you. I keep upsetting you. Right, well, come and sit down. We need to have a bit of a chat. Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, I keep saying the wrong thing. Just try and be honest, all right? That's all I need. OK, I can do that. OK. Are you happy? No. No? No, I'm not happy. And is it me who makes you unhappy? I... I, I don't know. OK. Are you more or less happy when you're with me than when you're not? Less? I think... No. no uh, more... I, I don't know. Right. I don't okay, know. OK, it's fine. We need to get this sorted. Would you be happy if you lived somewhere else? OK, for example, Roy's. Were you happier there than what you are here? Yes. But no, thanks for being honest. You're welcome. Right, what now? I don't know. What's all this? I'm hanging a reef so you know it's Christmas, cos otherwise you won't be able to tell in this house. I take it you've not had much luck on the sales front, then. I sold a few bits, but now to write home about. Not enough to get Joseph that birthday present he's been after. I will get there. How? Joe Hurley and Michael offered to buy me stuff off me at cost price. I should have just done it, you know, I'm rubbish at sales. What is that? It's the reef. Joseph and Kirk made it. It's... <laughs> Gemma, I don't have any words for how awful that is. <laughs> I know. But I didn't have the heart to say no when he asked if we were going to put it on the front door. His little face, it was so hopeful. He does love Christmas art, Joseph, doesn't he? Not Joseph, Kirk. I think this is mainly his masterpiece. <laughs> right, whatever. I mean, it's perfect. It's fitting. Don't say that. Hey, the Christmas bring and buys open now. I could ask Big Gar for a stall if you want. What do you think? You reckon you can hack it as a market trader? Luxury eyeliners, two for 40 quid for him and her. Finally, makeup you can share. Hey, I'm really proud of you for doing this, you know. The sooner you say it, the sooner it can be dealt with. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, actually, I think I can do this on my own. Are you sure? I mean, 
can wait out here until you're done. It's all right. I've wasted enough for you now. I'll text you to let you know what happens. Promise? I've lost my phone. Can I report it? Just take a seat. Oh, no. Never mind. Got it. Cheers. He'll love it in London as soon as he gets used to it. Oh, no. And there's no way Natasha would let him stay, even if we said yeah. I don't know. She won't have many childcare options down there, will she? So do you want him to stay? Well, yeah. Of course I do. I know it's not right. I told you, you're my priority. I'm sorry. But it's too soon. I couldn't have another little boy staying in the flight. It'd feel like a betrayal. It's OK. It's okay, we'll work it out. I'll ring Sam. Thanks. Hey. Hi. How is he? <sighs> He's okay, I think. Um, he said to give me a text, but not heard anything yet. Yeah, maybe he's asleep. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry I missed that date night. Can't be helped. Glad you were able to be there for your mate. I don't think I've met him, though, have I? Lewis? Nah, nah. Um, we go way back, but I've not seen him for a while. He's one of those that you fall in and out of touch with. Must have been close at one time, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were like brothers when we were younger. What have you been up to? I just went to the pub for a few pints and then came home and caught up on some reading. Sounds boring. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't compare to dinner and drinks with you. But, um, definitely better than being in hospital all afternoon. You eaten? Oh, yeah, yeah. Grabbed a sandwich before. Could make you some cheese on toast, or...? Uh, nah, you're all right, Tar. Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna grab a shower. Hey, Sam. Yeah, here's Dad. Uh, Leanne said you called. I know you're upset. I know, I know, but uh, you, you got to stay with your mum, okay? It's just not going to work uh, coming to be with me and Leanne. <laughs> yeah, it's really just bad timing, isn't it? Just as we're getting to know each other better. I miss you too. But, uh, but I mean, think how much you miss your mum. I wish there was another way. Um, look, why don't we just have Christmas Day tomorrow? Yeah? I don't know, yeah, and presents, food. Uh, wear a Christmas jumper, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the tackier, the better. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, I love you. Bye. I shouldn't have left you on your own. Can we try the questions again? Because I think I can do better this time. You did fine first time. Then why are you so upset? Well, I didn't like any of the answers. That's all, but don't mean there were wrong ones. She'd have given the right answers. She made you happy. I just keep messing up and hurting you. It's not your fault. 
But I think we both have to accept that it's not working, despite how much we've both tried. If that's what you want. I think it's for the best. For you. Well, it's Christmas ruined. And your 30th. Hey, you remember my 30th? No, no. Gail's planning a surprise present for you. It's a canoe. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you that, should I? It's fine. I already knew. I mean, she's not the best at hiding things. I saw her dragging it in before. <laughs> <laughs> Although, what she thinks I'm going to do with a canoe, anybody's guess. <laughs> Maybe we should tell the kids after Christmas. Okay. Will they be upset? Yeah. Probably will, yeah. We'll just have to tell them that, you know, we've tried everything, but we're just not making each other happy anymore. Do you mind if I change the channel? Me? Yeah. Barnaby and Jones are called away to deal with a team building exercise in Midsummer Murders tomorrow night at 8. But coming up here on ITV, Steve Mulhern grills the stars of Coronation Street and Emmerdale on some of the more memorable moments of 2020 in the Big Soap Quiz next. <laughs>